Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ange. Today's video is going to be about the products that I mentioned in my last video, but that I did not use from Sephora, just because they were a little bit more on the pricey side compared to the affordable side. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a full face tutorial using those products. Um, before anything, I did do my eyebrows already with my Kat Von D Signature Precision Brow Pencil. I do think that's one of my favorites right now. I mean, my eyebrows are low-key terrible. They're super bushy, which normally I'd rather keep mine thin. But I feel like that eyebrow pencil can make anything work. I really, really do enjoy it. It's definitely one of my favorites. I think it's definitely worth the money. So far, it has not given me any problems. It's not too waxy. Like, I don't, I can hardly, you know, tell, you know, I don't, it feels natural to me. Also, I feel like the way that it's made is very, very helpful with making it look natural, natural eyebrows. So I definitely do recommend that, basically. I guess we can go ahead and dive in with the eyeshadow first. So I'm going to be using my Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Using Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow to prime my eyelids. You know when you have like, it's like a little hole in there. I just always try to make it come in and out perfectly because I never like it when it gets super, super messy everywhere. Oh, but this, I'm super excited. I've heard so many good things. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it anyway. I'm, I'm rambling today. So far, I don't really smell a distinct, distinct smell to it, but that's okay. I'm not, smells, no smells don't really bother me. The only thing that I've ever really been sensitive about is a Huda, Bo Huda Beauty setting powder. That smell has always been like super old woman smell to me. So I do think so far that I'm noticing that this concealer is definitely full coverage. Might have put way too much just to prime my eyelids, but that's okay. I like it when they're full coverage anyway. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Skin Smoothing Press Powder, and I'm in this small little brush that I have, and go ahead and set my lids. And for the eyeshadow that we're going to be using today, it's going to be the Gingerbread Eyeshadow Palette. Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. Which smells super sweet, by the way. Um, I didn't really give you guys like a good look at it last time, so... It's kind of what it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to take this blending brush from BH Cosmetics. And take Looky at My Cookie. That kind of hurt to say. But that's this one over here. I feel like this is such a soft, pretty pink color. Like, you can almost not notice that it's there. I think it definitely is build up -able. Okay, and with this ColourPop brush, this is the E1 brush. I'm going to take the shade right underneath it, the Figgy Pudding one. It's a really, really purpley color.
Faced. So it is a lot of Too Faced products right now, today. But I'm going to take my new glitter glue, glitter shadow primer from Too Faced. I had to take a little bit of that with this little skinny flat brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lid, the inner in the middle of my lid. And once that sets down for a second, then I'm going to take Spiked Eggnog, which the names in this palette is kind of, they're kind of cute. I just, I have appreciation towards them. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up Spice Eggnog, which is this champagne looking shade right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of the glitter glue. Which we're gonna eat basically, most of the time I'm gonna be, I don't know if it's just for loose glitter or if it's for glittery eyeshadows as well and you just kind of emphasize it, but that's what I'm gonna use it for because I feel like that's what it would be best for is to help the glittery eyeshadow pop out. So I'm not gonna put any extra product on this blending brush with the lightest pink shade, but I'm just gonna kind of brush over. That way it's a fine line between the glitter and the shadow. And then we're gonna add more of Big Gay Pudding, which is the dark purple shade, just to blend out that between the glitter. On this BH Cosmetics brush, I'm going to, to pick up Reindeer Paws, which is like a really, really dark brown. And we're gonna focus that over here. Kind of regret doing that because it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side so it could be even. Another product that I have today is gonna be my Kat Von D Inkwell Liner in the shade Vampira, which ironically kind of matches the look. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that.
All right, so far I really do like this. I feel like the formula is a little bit better with the consistency because some of her other eyeliners, like the colorful ones, they will show up. Yeah, like you have to shake it super well, which you have to shake this product well too, but the other ones, since they're in the fill pen, it's a little bit more harder to, sh you know, Make sure that when you put the product on your hand that it's going to be consistent color. Not like, oh, some of this kind of looks light, some of it looks super dark. Um, but this one, I feel like the color was consistent. The only thing is I feel like the little stick dries out pretty quickly since it's literally such a skinny little f tip. So you do kind of have to dip in and out, dip in and out. But I don't mind that because this is honestly such a pretty color. And it almost, since it's such a dark color, it's almost unnoticeable, which I even like even more. We're gonna move on to the face. I just want to get up close right quick because I really do like the way this eyeliner looks. Looks a little messy because I had a hard time working with the product for the first time, but I really do like the color that it has and it kind of complements the eyeshadow, which I do enjoy as well. Like, it's a yes for me. So I'm using two primers today. I'm first gonna start off with my Smashbox Hydrating Primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that everywhere I feel like I have to mention the smell every time that lighters for my candle by the way for the family members who are watching this anyway I am going to do next my Becca ever met poreless priming perfecter and I'm gonna focus that on my nose and by my cheeks because that's where my pores are the biggest and I'm just gonna squirt a bunch of that out I haven't used this primer in forever I'm super nervous I think I put way too much I love watching the magic happen. I feel like like you can see where I put on the product. That's the only like iffy part of the product that you can see where it dries off. But I feel it too and it's so cool and my skin feels super cooling, not just because I just showed the fan on my face, but where the product is I can feel like it's cooling. Like I have cold skin and it feels super soft. And I will be taking my Skin Love Becca Foundation. In case y'all don't know, this is in the shade Buttercup. So it's a little bit on the yellow side, my tanner side. That's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do this today because why not?
I'm gonna go ahead and take my multi sculpting concealer and I honestly wish I would have got a darker shade just so I could have contoured with it so that's definitely gonna be my next purchase if I like how this feels but look see what I mean it's already getting dirty that makes me so sad I love the shape tape concealer don't get me wrong but it does dry out my skin and it does kind of leave my foundation patchy in the areas that I put it so I want to see how this one is in comparison to that one since they're styled the same I'm not saying that they're necessarily the same but I want to see if this one might be my new favorite compared to that one because that one does dry out my face so much no matter how many hydrating primers I put underneath it that's just something I experience with it. I know some people don't, so we'll see. And I bet I'll especially be able to tell since I'm putting this concealer all over my face. I wanted to brighten up the foundation a little bit because on camera it does look pretty bright, but it looks yellowish ish, just like a little bit my setting power I am gonna take another Too Faced product my peach perfect setting powder which I, love. I forget about this consistently but this is definitely one of like the best powders there is in my opinion because you just get such a matte finish which I love matte finishes and plus it minimizes your pores like this ColourPop brush this is the f2 brush and we're gonna go ahead and go in my under eyes color bronzer from a nipsey bag that I got a while back and I'm just gonna take the small f3 ColourPop angled brush and if it's not dark as what as I want to be I'm gonna use a different one Honestly, I love this bronzer. I think this did the trick for me, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I am going to take a blush now. Lido Cosmetics blush. This is the Skin Blush. It's such a pretty, pretty sheeny brush. This is also a product I got in an empty bag. I just, I fell in love with these products. And then I'm gonna take this ColourPop F4 brush. Now I'm going to take this big BH Cosmetics powder brush and I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Press Foundation, Press Powder Foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend everything together on my face. That way it all looks super nice. This um, highlighter that I used in my last video, the Revolution Skin Kiss highlighter in the sham color um, Champagne Kiss, and I'm gonna take my Milani brush and I'm just gonna use this to highlight my face today. I'm 
try to dip back into the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm going to use this side. And I'm going to dip in to look at my cookie. And I'm going to go under my eyes with that. Then I'm going to pick up Figgy Pudding, which is the darker purple color. And we're going to focus that one only on... But before I do my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my Revolution Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Setting Spray. I'm going to shake this a lot and put that all over. It's, it's not a bad smell. I just felt like I was choking on the air. But I do love the bottle that it comes in. It looks like a spray, like hairspray or like just kind of like it's a nice bottle i don't know if it's just me i just like this bottle i use the mascara first this is the benefit bad girl bang mascara and this is the one that i got with my points that's why it's so small but anyway onto the lips i am going to be using the same actually i'm not i was going to use the lip kit from the other night that i had but instead, I feel like Veronica would be such a much better eye look. Well, I mean, complete the eye look a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. This is Veronica from on ABHS. ABH. Yeah. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Whatever. I really like the way this look turned out so far. I will let you guys know. I'll do like a check-in at the end of this video. But... In case I don't get able, I'm not able to do that, I'm going to say my farewells now, just in case. Just in case. But, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Always feel free to communicate with me, let me know what y'all want to see, etc. But, I'll catch you guys next time, so bye.